in one week, as you know, I've had four officers on duty using bicycles for crime control struck by drunk drivers. Four in one week. I think it illustrates conclusively the dangers our officers face every day, not just from armed criminals, with whom we've had some experience this year, but also with the drunken and the foolish behind the wheels of a car, who to an officer on a bicycle are every bit as dangerous as any armed felon. Now, uh, Tom, uh, Tom Ozelli here, just a year ago while on patrol, was himself hit by a driver who was fleeing from a traffic stop. An officer was trying to stop the car. The car fled and hit the bicycle and injured the foot of Officer Ozelli. He'll speak a little while, uh, in a little while about his experiences, and he is, in fact, the partner of Officer Helminiak. Excuse me, Officer uh, Tenhagen. We had a conversation today about bicycle safety. Um, all of our bicycles come with standard light packages from the manufacturers of red and blue lights. But uh, in the course of this conversation, it came to my attention that uh, Paul, uh, Paul, uh, Paul uh, Helminiak had, well, he had done this. In his basement, with his own tools, he put together a Primo light package for his bicycle that's been assigned to him. And having seen it demonstrated by him, I uh, asked my staff if we could replicate this commercially. And so I've directed them, we've identified funding, about $10,000, that we can uh, outfit a similarly, similarly high visibility light uh, pack on all of our bicycles to enhance the uh, light package that comes with the standard, uh, standard equipment. Now obviously, you know, we can only do so much. Being on a bicycle is inherently vulnerable. Um, it's a terrific crime fighting tool. We've debriefed numerous suspects who basically told us of all the bicycle, of all the police patrols that they hate, they hate the bicycle patrols the most. Uh, they're stealthy, they're fast, and they show up unexpectedly, and they made a number of significant arrests in the last year. Uh, we've doubled the number of bicycle patrol officers uh, in the course of my uh, in the course of my uh, tenure here, and we now have 87 officers on bicycle patrol. It's a great crime fighting tool. It's a great community relations tool, uh, but it is a tool that uh, is used not without risk to the brave officers who volunteer for this duty. Now, what I'm going to do now is uh, Officer uh, Officer Ozelli is going to uh, step forward and uh, and say a few words about his experience uh, last year. Um, he can talk a little bit about last night, but obviously, as it's a pending prosecution, he can't go into a great detail. There you go. Thanks, Chief. Um, my name is Tom Ozelli. I'm a beat patrol officer for uh, District 3 in the Avenues West area. I've been on bicycle patrol for a little over three years. Uh, I've been partners with uh, Al Tenhaken my uh, entire bicycle uh, career here. Uh, we've been on numerous. Uh, Incidents, uh, very good arrests, and also uh, some scary situations such as last night. So uh, the department gives us very, very good training, which we uh, try to utilize to the best as we can. But uh, on some occasions, uh, no matter what kind of training you have, you have uh, incidents like this. Uh, I've received numerous inquiries from uh, family, friends, citizens uh, on uh, Al's condition. And uh, based on the incident yesterday and what I saw, I'm very, very thankful that uh, He's doing well. He's uh, a little banged up, but nothing broken, and uh, he should be back sometime uh, next week here. So he's at home resting, and uh, we all wish him well. Thanks a lot, Tom. Okay. Hey, uh, now I've got uh, Paul Helminiak here. He's the uh, home handyman here. Who's, uh, you should see his car. Um, <laughs> He's going to talk a little bit about uh, how he came up with the idea and what he did to create this uh, package. Paul? Thank you. I've been at uh, District 1, been on the bikes for also about three and a half years or so. Um, I was able to uh, come up with this idea because uh, back in high school I took electronics and it's always been something for, for me to tinker with a little bit. And um, just being out on the streets down at District 1, there's always a lot of cars, a lot of traffic, um, nobody sees you. 
Um, so I figured, you know, it's it's nice to have something that's a little bright where cars can see you. If I'm stuck out in the middle of the street where uh, I'm, I'm either fighting with somebody or my partner's fighting with somebody, I can turn the lights on and have a little bit uh, uh, a little more coverage with the lights on the bike uh, for us. Um, I've been doing some more research on some lights and I've been able to find some lights that uh, will be a little bit more effective, brighter, and a lot smaller as well too. So uh, I've been working on that as well. So. And like I said, it's, I've had it where I've been on a scene, uh, officers have told me uh, the only reason why I saw you was because the lights were on the bike. Uh, so I, that makes me feel good knowing that, hey, I got my back there and it's going to be there for me when I need it. Okay, thanks. Thank you. All right, before we take a couple of questions, I do have, uh, I do have a Captain uh, Galeone here. He has been the commander of District 2, as you probably know. He'll soon be assuming the duties of the commander of the Navy or task force and he'll be responsible for the bicycle patrols. He rides the bike when he was a District 2 commander. I've seen him out there leading from the front many times, although his officers make him wear long pants. Uh, but at any rate, uh, you can say a few words about the training because he's taken it himself. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Captain Donald Gaglione, G-A-G-L-I-O-N-E. Um, all of our officers that are trained on the bi in the bicycles or ride the bicycles for us are trained in the PIMBA standards of bicycle training. It's a 32-hour course uh, that all of the officers go through. Uh, it's a very uh, intense course. It's very challenging. Um, I did it because it, my district had more bicycle officers than anybody at the time. Uh, so I felt it would be right for me to learn what they're actually going through and what they're experiencing. And it's a very challenging course. It's a very good course, so it gets the officers prepared for most anything they can come across on the street, how to get out of the way, how to, how to approach people. Um, but obviously what it doesn't do is, like the chief said, it's very, they're very vulnerable to knucklehead drunk drivers and people that are not paying attention. So they have great training, but sometimes it is, it's a dangerous job out there, and especially with the bicycles, you have nothing around you but the bike under you. So uh, the training is very good, and, and we can, we're gonna we, we research them or we do um, updated training every year for them to keep them sharp on their skills and their riding skills that they utilize everything out on the street. 